All right, day three, Bassmaster Elite on Sabine. We're in pretty good position. Just gotta go out there and execute. You know, it's two more days of the tournament. Anything can happen. You know, like any time on this body of water, you're extremely close to weighing in five pounds. Like it's just a couple of bites that gets you from five pounds up to that eight or nine pound range. And it's one more bite that gets you up to that 11 pound range. So, I mean, you're never far away from a bad day and you're never far away from a really good day here. So just try to get as many bites as possible. And don't lose any. Two? Is that you're getting? No, I'm getting out. Three. You know the thing here? Find a bait they'll bite and just cover water with it. And that's what we're doing. Be the top ten, a brand new leader in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. I mean, I mean, just, just when everybody starts saying, oh, Brandon Cobb's going to run away with, with this. Uh-oh, we, we got a brand new leader. How are you feeling about that? You know, you know like, all you want to have is kind of an opportunity. And in, in, in my opinion, the AOI is the pinnacle of the sport. sport so, I mean, if you're going to compete for something, that's what you want to be competing for. This fishery, how tough is this to compete on? And how have you found you had a fairly consistent tournament to this point? How have you done that? I've just, I've just been, been really fortunate, fortunate to get a couple of the right bites every day. You know, my strategy here is like, have no expectations, set the hook as many times as you possibly can, and don't lose it. Well, it's working out so far. Keep it rolling. Your progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader. And let's. We'll take that one too. He's gonna be one of them pounders, but he's a 12 incher. Get that sucker in the shade. Do you know what? He's a one pounder. He's fatter than most 12 inches. There we go. There we go. Get in here, baby. And it's a right one. I think I shook this fish off in practice. And I, could, I ain't caught him until today. Yes, dude. Slow start. We're getting there, though. That one's over a pound and a quarter. You're close. He's pound ten. Yes, thank you, Lord. Should I plug these in? Yep. I'll go an hour between bites if I that big. It was almost two pounds. Pound ten. Eating it up here. I don't know. I've been getting more bites down there. I don't care where they come from.
Oh man, it's a 12 ouncer, a .8. Come on, dude. Chill out for a second. <laughs> He's going to be a 14 ouncer. One step closer to the dance tomorrow. It's a better one. Yeah. He sure going cool. Still gonna be a one pounder. This sucker's definitely 12 inches. I didn't measure him when I caught him, I was thinking about that. A decent little trade there for Sabine River Big Coal. All right, go back and eat some bluegill. He may be bigger. That's pitiful. That's an ounce.
right, I need you to get real loud. He's a two-time classic qualifier, our brand new leader in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points, points, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Had 20 pounds and 14 ounces. Six pounds, 13 ounces, moves into seventh place with 27 pounds and 11 ounces for your brand new progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader. So sitting in seventh place, and man, you did your job here today. I mean, you came into this event trailing Brandon Cobb in the Angler of the Year race, and uh, for the first time this season, he kind of stumbled, and you took advantage. And to continue to take advantage, you got to stay in that top ten. It's going to be close, but regardless, you're leading Angler of the Year with three events left to go, and you got to be pretty excited about that. I, I am super excited just to have the opportunity. The main problem is the next three, they're, they're brown instead of green. So we'll just see kind of how we fare up there. But, you know, to... Today I was in second place, not far off the lead, so I really kind of gambled and expanded and tried to fish new water, and I think I probably should have just hunkered down and got a few more bites in the areas where I thought they were and just cold up a little bit. It gave me a little more cushion, but hopefully we get to go tomorrow. I love the way this lake fishes. I love every time we come here, and I love the crowds that always turn out, so I hope I get to spend another day out here. We'll keep our fingers crossed and try to fire through this way and in a hurry. <laughs> Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our semifinal Saturday weigh-in. Only one thing left to do, and that's to bring out our top ten. Orange, Texas, are you guys ready to meet them? No, 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 no. We started with 103, 50 went out today and only 10 remain. This is the home of the all-time record attendance crowd. Orange, Texas, are you ready? Go to that in 10th spot, making his second top 10 of 2023. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic Qualifier from Newcomer's Town, Ohio, a former motocross racer. Get loud for Hunter Stroud! He is your day one leader. He is a six-time Bassmaster Classic Qualifier. He is a Bassmaster Open winner all the way from Holt, Michigan. Get loud for Chad Pipkins! With this angler, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. But look out, he is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. As of yesterday, he took over the lead in the progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Keep your eye on the Sandman, cause he'll sneak up on you when you're not watching. What a season he has had, not just on the Bassmaster Elite Series, but on the Bassmaster Opens. He's a Bassmaster Open winner. He's a classic qualifier from Japan, Kenta Kamira. He's an Elite Series rookie that made his very first top 50 just a day ago. Well, a day later, he made his very first top 10 in front of the record crowd right here in Orange, Texas. So welcome him right, Orange, all the way from Connecticut, Elite Series rookie, Alex Weatherell. Second top 10 of 2023, he's led multiple days. He is a four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He is a Bassmaster Open winner. He may go tuna fishing tomorrow. A man more slick than an ugly stick from Kentucky, Matt Robertson. A little over a year ago, he was fishing out of a boat that was older than him. He had one graph, then he became a Bass Nation National Champion. It all changed. He joined the Bassmaster Elite Series, and today, making his very first championship Sunday in the Bassmaster Elite Series, all the way from Hawaii, say aloha to Matty Wong! 
probably one of the greatest to ever play the game. He's a four-time FLW Tour winner, an 18-time FLW Tour Cup qualifier, a five-time Classic qualifier, a four-time Angler of the Year, the former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Texas, Clark Wendland. He is your reigning Bassmaster Opens Angler of the Year. He circled this event on a calendar, and he circled it right, because he's going out in second place. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Pike Road, Alabama, Keith Poche. has been here many times before. He is a five-time Elite Series bridesmaid, a four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He has been here twice on Championship Round. Is it finally the time? Everybody says yes. It's all up to the five fish tomorrow. Orange, Texas. Finally, the Brock has come back to Orange from Mississippi. Brock Mosley. Yesterday, and now we have 10 going out on Championship Sunday. The 